All right, NMRC here with you guys. Got an unboxing, a second one. So as you can see, I got the SCX6 Jeep Rubicon. I'm sure you guys can guess what the hell is under it. I got the uh, red one there, as the dot indicates on the side of the box, and uh, we'll get her open. See if this Jeep collapses the box too with it staying up there. Probably will. Because that thing has Vitavon axles and all that crap on it. So it's really heavy with 3.8 beadlock wheels. And uh, mud slingers. Probably opening this thing upside down. And yep, there you go. It's coming out upside down. <laughs> there it is. Hell yeah. Grab it by the big old stinger back bumper. Ugh. I'm sure you guys watch Hemi Storms unboxing and a few others unboxing and stuff. So I'm not really going to go over all the specs of this truck because it's already been done uh, probably a million times already by now. And uh, yeah, doing this one handed kind of sucks. Trying to get the truck in the frame and unboxed. With this stupid plastic off of it, Jesus. But my unboxing is going to be different from everybody else's if I can get this damn plastic off the tire. There we go. All right. So, all right, here's the STX 6 Honcho. You know, if you don't know by now, well, now you know. But anyway, I'm not getting over the details. So we're gonna see if this wheelbase of this matches the honcho since nobody can confirm it. They say it is, but I'm gonna visually show you guys it is. And this truck's on a hinge system, so it only has two pins on the front and lifts up, which is way better than that damn thing. So let's get these out. It has lights here, LEDs here. And then two in the back on their little bumper thing back there, but uh, we'll get into that some other time. And it has LEDs in the front bumper. Uh, really cool looking bumper on the front of it. There's the lights that just popped out of it. So it's all the same setup as the Jeep. Two speed, servo, your brushless spectrum system. It's all laid out the same, even has the same ls looking engine cover which you know it's not a, not supposed to be an ls but whatever and then uh so i'll get this body off and uh we'll uh, flip this thing upside down and see if the body matches that wheelbase that way you guys know if it does so you could just buy the body and throw it on your jeep or vice versa if you buy that first but then you want the jeep also body you know you can flip flop them if you want to have one chassis and not two rigs like me and waste more money than you need to but that's what this hobby is about it's wasting money period so if you don't like to waste money you shouldn't be in this hobby that's just period all right so i'm going to set this body on top of this put this upside down because my initial plan I thought it flopped all the way over but it doesn't and I don't want to break it so I'll just set it upside down and then we'll see if this uh, wheelbase lines up all right uh, it looks shorter to me just a tiny bit oh no it's pretty close I'll give you guys a, a side view angle here of what the wheelbase looks like there yeah it's pretty close i would say it's the same so i think you can get this jeep body or this honcho body and flip flop them it's just the honcho right let's let me flip this back over on its lid here let me grab this big heavy bastard and we'll set it side by side so see 
side by side comparison they're pretty close yes I have bigger tires so it kind of looks a little off but it's not so watch let me flip this around for you guys to set it exactly exactly right so we'll lift this lid here so as you can see same engine cover same engine cover cover same servo spot placement two speed like that see two speed right there like that uh to make this honcho body work you'll have to get rid of the sliders or you could probably unbolt your rear fender wells here probably still use the same sliders the same the front's the same i just trimmed mine to fit the damn body on easier uh so you have to take off the rear inner fenders and then get the uh bracket for the hinge system for the rear of the body there and take off that rear bumper and stuff and uh, bumper mount and put that one there on it to make this uh, body work on your Jeep body or chassis and then if you want if you got that and you want the Jeep you got to get these and that and the bumper if you want a bumper on the back to make it work on that so there's that guys i will have a running video this weekend of uh this big bad honcho here and uh maybe even do a night run with uh, my other buddy's honcho and my other buddy he's getting one ordering it on monday so you know we'll all be out there in our honchos and probably do a night crawl with them so that way you guys can see all the lights and everything. But uh, that'll do it for this video. Just want to share the new SCX-6 Axial Honcho. Uh, I wish they made this version first because then I wouldn't even have gotten this Jeep. But, uh, you know, you know how Axial is. Though they, you know, you know how it goes. Uh, you guys, I'm sure already seen this where it turns and you can pop the sand ladders off. There's two pins on the cover of the sound ladder that it goes to and uh, it's like a storage container you can actually put full-size granola bars in here and everything it's ridiculous functioning spare etc probably would do two stage foams right off the bat in this and aluminum shock hoops to stiffen up the steering other than that uh i don't know i might keep it stock for a long time like this so but anyway, there you go, guys. There it is.